Norman Leslie, son of Sheldon Boy, here we go again. That's lovely, isn't it? Nice start to the day today. Suffolk show next week, Brian. Are you going to go? Lots of people saying, is Brian going to be there? I, I don't know. I'm going to wait and see what the weather's like, because, you know, I've got a lot to think of, because his mother, of course, you know, you don't know yep. who she's going to be on the day. So yep. I'd, I know you can save a few quid if you... Book if early. You, if, huh? Book a, <laughs> sound like Fred Ponting. Book early. If if you book early, that's right, you can. But I can't. I can't work like that. You know, I've got to wait and see how mother is and what's going on, and um, and see what the weather's going to be like. Do you know what? Do you know what the weather's going to be like for next Wednesday or Thursday? Well, it's not Wednesday and Thursday, Brian. It's Tuesday, Wednesday next week. No, no, it's always on a. <laughs> it's always on a Wednesday or a Thursday, isn't it? Uh, they've changed it because of the Queen. Huh. Th- What's she ch- gone? <laughs> not this year, no, not this year. No, they've changed it. It's Tuesday, Wednesday, because Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is a bank holiday. So they're doing the Suffolk show. T- no, are you writing? Thursday, in, is it? No, you- <laughs> it is. Are you not writing this down? No, Suffolk- Thursday, Thursday in the bank holiday, is it? It is. Thursday's a is bank it? holiday. Yes, and Friday, and Saturday and Sunday. Four days. Well, that's the first I heard. I know that they I know they move one in, uh, at the end of May. And that's, that's at the beginning of June, isn't it? <laughs> Brian, it's ne- the Jubilee's next Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, we know it. I know when it is. I ain't stupid, you know. <laughs> I, I know I know it's next weekend because I had a lot about it. But it's, they're bank holidays, the, 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 yeah. That ain't the same time as the Suffolk show, is it? No, no, no. The, so the Suffolk show's Tuesday, Wednesday. If you go there on Thursday with Mother, you'll be you'll be able to watch people packing up. So it ain't on Thursday? No, it's on Wednesday and Tuesday. Oh, you good to hell, why don't they... Why don't they leave things alone, you know? You, you get sorted, don't you? So you know what you're doing, and I, I shall now have to see what I'm doing. Well, the weather looks all right. The weather looks nice and dry. It's not going to be too hot, which is good, because you don't want to have it too hot walking around the show. It's going to be lovely, no, I think. No, there's, there was one year we went, right? Yeah. And uh, we bought a lolly, and that was, that was running their mother's sleeve. And um, uh, it was still hot, and that, that will tell you what, that was the year that we had a lot of wasps about. Oh, right, OK, yeah, the wasps. You remember that year when I they do. were everywhere, weren't yeah, they? Oh, yes, yeah. That's right. Yes. Anyway, well, I, well, no, I should have to wait and see what, right. what the land is like, because Mother's up and down a bit at the minute, you know. Yeah, so. I, I, I know, yeah. Well, it'll be nice to see if you if you can make it. Um, yeah. What's been happening in your world? Um, how are you getting on with the neighbours, all right? Uh, all right, she's... She's winding me up at the minute, if I'd be honest, Glenda next door, you know, the neighbour Marcus's as missus. Yes. She, uh, she's out there the other day, because I told you she told me to go inside and mind my own business, didn't I? You did, yes. So, that's right, I mean, I was only offering a bit of help. Anyway, she she reckon now, I, I heard her talking the other day, reckon she's going to, she's thinking about getting a cat. <laughs> and now, we, know, we know how much you love those in your garden. Well, you know about this cat that come in the garden and up in the bark chippings at yes, the top. Yes, it does. There, it does. all over the grass, you know. Yeah. And that crap all at the top. And <laughs> Do I its have business, to clear, yes. And clear all that up. Well, the last thing I want now is another one next door that's going to start coming. <laughs> and when they're, when they're little, you know, they sort of scratch at everything as well, don't they? Oh, they do, yes. Yeah. You know, so I, mean, I don't... Part of me thinks she's just did this to wind me up, because that's the sort of old cow she is, you know, that she won't, she won't think twice about saying something she know I'm going to start worrying gutting about it. But that wouldn't, I wouldn't put that past her getting a cat, or even two, just if she know... To wind you that, up. That, that's, that's right, yeah. you know, like this. Why, why they want to be getting a cat for? <laughs> They're good company. Huh? They're good they, company, they, aren't no, they? they yeah. No, they, all, all the cats do. They scratch up the furniture, don't they? Up the curtains. And then all the... And, it, you know, who's to say... Who's to say that... Who's going to look after it when they're not there? Because, you know, they go away for their dirty weekends. <laughs> he's, he's taken he's her off to London this weekend. Oh, right. OK, well... Oh, you know, bra- yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, they're gone, you know. Now, if they've got a cat, there's no good them asking me because I ain't looking after the ruddy thing. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh. <laughs> well, no, I, I, Leslie, I know you laugh. No, you no, think no, that's no, funny, but no, no, I know, know. No, no, I understand. I understand. Um, we, we, in, a lot of people have wanted to know what you make of the Sue Gray report this week, Brian. Um, well, that's that's like this, right? That I was speaking to Neil on the corner. Yep. And he reckoned that cost. Now, let me think what he say. It was over three hundred or four hundred thousand pounds, right? That was quite a few pounds, yes. That's right. 
Now, what have I heard just to turn round and say that that uh, he'd been a naughty boy? <laughs> well, you know, because when, when I, I I was watching the news, right? And yes. They say that they were, that they were spewing up all over the the the. Um, there was a little bit of vomiting. Yes. Yeah. Down the street, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah. It was a little bit of that. Yeah, and a bit of a fight. Uh, and, yeah. And then, and then they were fighting. Yeah. And and they they were they were singing and going ahead, you know, and and you, you think to yourself, well, is this what we expect in Downer Street? You know, if if you go down a, I oh, you know one of these one of these fancy bars in Ipswich or whatever, then yes, that's fine. You you can go in there and see, but you don't expect that to happen, do you? At, at the um at the Downer Street. Now my my point is, Leslie, right? Yes, Brian. He he stand up there, didn't he, old Boris? Yeah. The party pooper, as I call him now, he he stood up in the Houses of Parliament on um, uh, what day was it, Leslie? Wednesday, um, I think, wasn't it? Huh? Wednesday, I think. Wednesday, that's right. Yep. He he stood up there to say, "Oh, I've been a naughty boy. I've been caught with my trousers down, and so you oh, know, I'm sorry, and I, <laughs> I take full responsibility." Well, if he want to take full responsibility, here's what I think he should do, Leslie. I think he should dig deep into his pocket. And if he ain't got enough, he should go next door and tap on the door of the Chancellor, because he's seen there plenty, and then turn round and pay for that report, that because that's come out of the taxpayers' money, didn't it, Leslie? Well, you Brian... Know, so he ought he, he, to be, he, he, be dipping it, go, going into that party pot, and then pulling some of the old money that's, that's there for the booze and the singing and the cavorting, <laughs> he, he want to be paying as a gesture for this report. Because if that cost... If that cost us all that money like Neil on the corner, say, where the hell did they get this money from? <laughs> um, rumour has it, because you know I live in Felixstowe, don't you? Yeah, that's right, yes. Yeah, rumour has it that you were in the resort the other day. Yes, yeah, yes, I did. Yeah, I took Mother down for a wheel down ah. the, the thoroughfare because I wanted one or two bits and pieces. And uh, Mother wanted to get out for the day. You know, we were having a good day. And uh, and so we, we went down, we went and had a... <coughs> we went and had a cuppa. Very nice. And I, I always park... Um, oh, now, where is that? they they got the toilets on the corner. Yeah. And as, you, you just walk through, and then you can wheel up, you know. And I had to laugh, Leslie, because I, I, I always... <coughs> I, I just... I go in the toilets, and they got these things in there where you, you put your hand in the hole... Right, and, they, and then that squat you with um, the soap, you know. <laughs> yes, and and then um, then, then the water. Yes, uh, and then after that, the 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 blower thing come on. You yes, know, so it you, does. You don't have it on the side like they normally do. You know, that's all, it's all in, in the one. Hole. Yeah, all in one, all in the hole. That, that's right. Well, I mean, they, they need to sort that out for a start, Leslie, because when, when I went in there the other day, the, the soap come out. You know. Yes, and then I I, I wash my hands. You know, like you're supposed to. Yep. And the water weren't overly warm. If I'd be honest, that was a bit chilly, you know, because <laughs> they, they want to be sorting it out. But when the, when the blue will come on, yep. that, all, the, all the water on the foam that splashed up. Oh, no. Um, all of my crotch and up on my, <laughs> up on my belly. <laughs> so I, I, sort of, I sort of went and got some uh, uh, toilet roll. And that ain't the best stuff either, you know. <laughs> well, while I was in there, another bloke, he come out of the cubicle and he went over to the sink. And so I sort of hung back, you know. I thought, well, should I say something or not? And uh, I didn't, because that didn't have make me laugh when his his trousers got soaked as well, and <laughs> he come out of there. And so I went back to the car, and I said to mother, I just had a bit of entertainment. I said, some bloke in there just got a wet crotch like me, you know. But they want to sort them things out, because we're, cause when you wash your hands, that's that's the firm is sitting in there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It blows and out, yeah. Well... A, I'm sure. I'm sure East Suffolk Council will be listening this morning, and they'll get onto that straight away, Brian. They'll get onto that. They will. And the temperature of the water is too cold. All right. Uh, and we had good news this week. Ed Sheeran's had another little baby. Yeah. Well, I didn't know nothing about that, did you? Not until it happened. No. No. Well, how do you keep something like that quiet? I, I, t- I tell you what, he's done it, Leslie. I was laughing when the girl rose me. I said, I reckon he's done that, so he try and get more votes <laughs> in, the, in the East Anglian. Do you reckon? <laughs> Oh, what, for the icons of Suffolk? Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. That's the sort of thing that, that, that people do. And, you know, I, I laughed. I said to Leslie, I said, yeah, I spent his canvassing for a few more votes, you know, for the 
for the, the, the Suffolk thing. Well, I'll tell you what, the, the voting is still on. It's on, for, uh, I think, until the 10th of June. Um, and so um, I, I think you're doing quite well. You're not at the top, but you're doing quite well the last time I checked. Um, what we need to do is to see if people around Suffolk can make their little, some little homemade signs, you know, like the politicians have their signs, you know, like vote Boris and vote Keir and all this kind of stuff. Maybe we could have vote Brian signs made up. What do you think, Steph? Yes. Some little handmade vote signs. Brian, definitely. Car windows, shop windows, uh, front windows, you know, vote Vote Brian. That's a dozy good idea, that is. I'll, I'll have a word with the, um, the girl Rosemary, see if we can't get one. Yeah, vote, vote Brian. There yes, we are, to be the, the icon of Suffolk. Um, while, while we start making our signs, can you do some quick shout-outs for me? Oh, uh, yes, yes, I've yes. got mine, boy. Got quite a few today. I'm, 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 I'm trying to squeeze them all in if we can. Uh, morning, Mark. Please could Brian and Melton say hello to our lovely daughter and son-in-law, Gemma and Les Holiday, and our twin grandsons, Dylan and Ethan. It was their wedding anniversary on Tuesday this week. They all love Brian. Uh, and we'll all be at the Suffolk Show to come and see you on Wednesday. That's with love from Linda and Ian. So that's, uh, that's Les and Gemma, Dylan and Ethan. Yes, well, all of them. Yes. Um, uh, I, you know, I might even see them at the Suffolk Show if they're going on Wednesday. You never know. And, uh, and happy anniversary, say. Yes, yes, earlier this week, yep. Happy anniversary to him. Yep. Uh, another one here from Giles. I wonder if Brian could wish a happy birthday to my dad, Malcolm Roweth, who will be uh, 86 tomorrow. Uh, a wonderful father, grandfather and great-grandfather. He's an avid gardener, loves watching sport, especially the darts. Still enjoys travelling on the railway, for whom he worked for all his life. Loves sampling real ale, but most of all... Never misses Brian on a Friday morning and loves to hear what he has to say. Happy birthday from all his family and his numerous friends. That's from Giles. And so this that's Malcolm Roweth. Yes, yes. Happy birthday, uh, uh, Malcolm. And I, I bet he like a good ship and all. I reckon he does, yeah. Um, Colin is 70. That's from Peter, June and Martin. Who is it? Colin. Colin, yeah, happy birthday, Colin. And a couple more. Let me just squeeze a couple more in. Uh, please could you ask Brian to say big congratulations to my wife, Tracy, as we'll be celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary uh, on the 6th of June. I've planned a few days away, but can't reveal the location as it's a surprise. That's from Stuart Holman in Beckles. Well, she's a lucky lady. So it's, it's, it's 30, 30 years, you say? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. Well, well ha- happy anniversary to them, and I, I hope they have a nice dirty weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and this came in a bit late in the post. Uh, would you please ask Brian to wish my wife, Gillian, happy birthday. Uh, it was on the 18th of May, but this didn't come in the post in time. Uh, we've been married for 58 years come Good September. God. And that's from uh, from Harold. So uh, happy happy belated birthday to Gillian. Absolutely. Happy birthday, my darling. I yeah. hope you had a nice time. And Brian's just been in touch. Um, obviously, we're trying to do what we can to make you the icon of Suffolk, so homemade signs everywhere would be great. But Brian says, uh, perhaps if Rosemary had your love child, that might get some votes. <laughs> well, all I'll say is it's a silly ass. <laughs>